Today, we're gonna make two gaming PCs fight to the death for daddy's love. In the one corner, we have a $1,400 AliExpress gaming PC, which honestly is one of the better pre-builds I've ever looked at. And we're gonna compare that to a local boy, the Armory Gaming PC by Canada Computers. And this is actually gonna be a very fair fight because both of these systems have essentially the same core components. Uh, yeah, so let's throw a knife into the ring and see who comes out on top. But before we get into all that, it's time for today's video sponsor, our merch store. Winter is coming, which means now is the perfect time to buy you and your loved ones some sexy David Does Tech Stuff hoodies. Not only are they comfy and warm, but they're guaranteed to ship with no bloatware. Check those hoodies along with a bunch of other awesome merch out using the link in the description below and get free international shipping. Oh, the local boy comes in a McCube 110, which is quite a nice looking MATX case that doesn't have a whole lot of airflow, which is actually quite similar to that AliExpress system. Now, considering that this is a local boy, it does have one huge advantage over the AliExpress system. It didn't have to get Hulk smashed all the way here from Shenzhen. So I'm hoping there's not gonna be any shipping damage. Okay, so we have a nicely printed quick start guide about how to deal with the packaging, what ports to use and all that, and it's also in French for those of you living in Quebec. Other than that, we have some motherboard accessories and the actual system. Clearly, the local boy arrived in better condition, but that doesn't really count for anything considering that it didn't need to be shipped anywhere. So despite the fact that the AliExpress system looks like it was passed through a digestive tract, I'm gonna call it a draw because they both were single boxed with similar quality packing foam. <sighs> In terms of external impressions, aside from form factor and the fact that they look different, they're actually quite similar. Both cases have front panel airflow that's about as restricted as a Catholic school's dress code. And in terms of the front IO, neither of the systems are particularly modern, but they'll both get the job done. Although the local boy does have a bunch of mesh in the top of the case that the AliExpress system doesn't. Their rear IO is also surprisingly similar actually, although the Armory PC does have Wi-Fi, which helps quite a bit. So in terms of external features, the point goes to the Moose Man, because because of Wi-Fi and a little bit of mesh. I really like that side panel. Wow, that is one hell of the inside of a pre-build. It actually looks like it was built by somebody that wasn't waterboarded right before they started building the system. Now, just like the AliExpress PC, we have dual channel RAM, which is amazing. Both of these PCs have RAM configurations that actually make sense. Now, this Canada computer system actually looks quite a bit neater than the AliExpress system. But I think the main reason for that is because it has an MATX motherboard in an MATX case. Whereas that AliExpress system has an MATX motherboard in an ATX case. So even if that Ipsen builder was the Jimi Hendrix of cable management, they'd still be at quite a big disadvantage. There are a couple of like little stray hairs of cables, but honestly, this is a really well put together system. My, my biggest gripe is the cooler that we have on here, which yeah, that looks a little bit losery to me, especially compared to the AIO in the AliExpress system. These temperatures should be interesting. Now, in terms of specifications, these two systems are very similar. They both have Ryzen 5 3600 CPUs in them. They both have dual channel 16 gig kits of RAM. However, this system has dual channel 3200 megahertz RAM, whereas the AliExpress system had 3000 megahertz RAM, which wasn't actually XMP'd out of the box. So it was running at 2666 megahertz. And that means if Canada computers properly set the RAM speed out of the box, this system should have the gaming performance advantage. Now, in terms of the graphics cards, they also both have RTX 3060s in them. The Canada computer system has an EVGA XC gaming variant, whereas the AliExpress system has a tough gaming variant, AKA the Girth Beast. However, in terms of motherboards, I'm gonna have to give it to this Canada computer system because we've got a VRM here that's got a nice heatsink on it, and that looks like it's cooling quite a beefy power delivery. They both also have 500 gig NVMe SSDs in them and some fans being choked out against solid panels. Although the AliExpress system does have a whole lot more choking going Going on and depending on how you roll that may be a good thing 
In terms of rear cable management, I'd say it's a toss up between these two. There's definitely more going on with the AliExpress system, but it's because it's got a huge amount of RGB that the Canada computer system doesn't have. Now, when it comes to the power supplies, the AliExpress system has a 550 watt, 80 plus white rated power supply, whereas the Canada computer system has a 500 watt, 80 plus bronze rated power supply. So the one system has a bit more wattage that's slightly less efficient, whereas the other system has fewer watts that's more efficient. But both of these systems have some real impressive rears. Mm. Oh, I actually think that this is... No way. This also has an untainted Virgin Windows install on it, which is unprecedented. The last two pre-builds are the first two pre-builds I've ever seen that isn't just tainted with a bunch of gonorrhea, and that is amazing. But there is one last thing in terms of setup that we need to check, which is a bit of a make or break here in terms of gaming performance. No! No, they didn't set the XMPs out of the box. You were so close, Canada Computer's PC. You just stumbled and broke both your knees at the last hurdle. Why? You were so close. Now, I know that it is very easy for the user to go into the BIOS and just set the XMPs yourself. But if you're buying a pre-built and you don't know about that kind of stuff, you're leaving quite a lot of performance on the table, especially with a Ryzen system. But yeah, still, that is amazing. This is just a fresh Windows install with no McAfee on it, which is, which is brilliant. So I think we should now uh, compare the gaming performance between these two systems. <laughs> Now here we are with the Canada computer system running Battlefield 5 at 1080p high settings with DirectX 12. And the first thing that you'll notice is that the CPU temperatures are quite high. 80 degrees Celsius isn't great, especially with an ambient temperature of about 20 degrees Celsius. But bear in mind, there's a bit of a CPU bottleneck going on here. So the CPU is working very hard. And in a lot of the other games, we were getting closer to 75 degrees Celsius on the CPU, which is more acceptable. Now, the graphics card temperatures are pretty good and uh, the system is quite quiet. So it's, it's a decent performance for a pre-built here. And generally the frame rate is great for 1080p higher frame rate gaming, even with more demanding titles. But the AliExpress system does wipe the floor with the little moose boy in terms of thermals. So with with that, let's have a look at a wider variety of games and see how these two systems stack up in terms of gaming performance. Wow, those results were uh, quite anticlimactic. I mean, what was I expecting, right? They have pretty much the same hardware configuration in them, aside from a slightly different memory tuning. So you'd be really hard pressed to tell the difference between these two systems in a blind test. But there are some differences. The AliExpress system has a better CPU and GPU cooler, which leads to better temperatures while gaming. Genuinely exceptional temperatures. And once you enable the PWM fan control mode in the BIOS, the AliExpress system is about as quiet as the Canada computer system. But then on the other hand, the Canada computer system does have a slightly better kit of RAM in it. So in terms of performance, it's kind of like pitting two clones of the same person against each other, wearing slightly different clothes. <laughs> now before we decide who the winner is between these two exquisite pre-builds, we have to discuss the price, because that is quite an important factor considering how evenly matched these two systems are. Now for the AliExpress PC, before tax and shipping and everything, it cost 8,800 Canadian dollars. Whereas this Canada Computer's Moose Boy cost $1,600 before tax and, well, there was no shipping because I just went to the shop to pick it up. Um, but that's a sale price. Normally it goes for about $1,700 Canadian dollars. However, the difference gets a bit bigger when you take shipping into account because the AliExpress system in total with shipping and tax and all that included, it cost 2,040 Canadian dollars. Whereas the final price for the Canada computer system was $8,800. 
That is a pretty substantial difference between the two. But that's kind of unfair, right? Because this system is from Canada. It's like a local PC, whereas the AliExpress system comes from China. Obviously, it was going to cost more, even if they cost the same, you know? But even in terms of base cost, this Canada computer system was less expensive. Uh, but with the AliExpress system, you do get an AIO and a better version of the RTX 3060. So I'd say that both systems are fairly priced, but the Canada computer system has the edge. <laughs> But actually, before we discuss the winner of this video, uh, there was a clear loser in this video, which was OEM Prebuilds. A system from Dell, HP or Acer does not have a chance in hell of competing with either of these systems, even on price, to be honest. Like, they were both very reasonably priced considering the hardware in them, and then you have like upgrade paths and just better thermals and better looking systems and you don't have any venereal disease on it. Like both of these systems are miles ahead of the average OEM pre-built. Which brings us to the conclusion. Which of these two titans of industry will go home with the coveted prize of daddy's love? I think I have to give it to the Canada computer system if you live in Canada. It is a very compelling system and one of the more complete pre-builds I've seen. But if you live in a country that has like weird hardware pricing and it's difficult to get your hands on a decent gaming pre-build, that AliExpress system is a good bet. Although I will say that if you do want to buy one of those AliExpress systems, just bear in mind that you may have to do a little bit of diagnosing of problems. So if you're a complete newbie to PC gaming, it may be a bit challenging to initially interact with it. Just, just bear that in mind. Which brings me to the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching. Please let me know down in the comment section below what you thought of these two systems. I think they were both great and it was a fun time interacting with both of them. Um, and yeah, until the next video, bye-bye.